A smart move, turning those marathon videos into bite-sized clips that actually grab attention right from the start. You've probably wasted countless hours scrubbing through hour-long recordings just trying to find the two minutes that contain actual gold, right? Today, I'm walking you through my entire playbook, from the initial planning stages all the way through to hitting that final publish button. We'll cover the exact techniques I've refined over years of repurposing massive amounts of long-form content into viral short-form gold. I will show you precisely how to be intentional about every single cut you make to capture those absolute best moments for maximum impact. Furthermore, we'll explore why leveraging a smart tool can make this entire process not just lightning fast, but genuinely enjoyable for a change. I'll even give an honest look at other popular tools like How to Go, Screen Studio, and the reliable old OBS, just so you see where they shine and where they fall short compared to the new ways. First and foremost, you absolutely must plan because you are not just editing video, you are strategically communicating a message. You need to deeply consider where your ideal viewer currently sits in their overall journey with your brand or content. Are they a total newcomer just discovering your work for the first time? Or are they a seasoned pro needing quick clips to share with their decision-making team? Those different contexts should absolutely be the foundation that dictates how you approach every single edit you make. The single biggest, most common error I see talented creators making is trying to cram absolutely every single point into one short clip, so please avoid that trap. Instead, aim to deliver only one to three core crystal clear messages per clip because anything more risks completely losing the viewer's delicate attention span. Let's make this whole concept incredibly concrete with a real world example from a typical one hour webinar recording. Instead of creating three separate drawn out 15 minute edits from that hour, you need to identify the single most compelling must know takeaway for each short piece. For instance, if your long video was a deep product walkthrough, you must extract that precise moment where the true undeniable aha factor finally hits the viewer. That magic moment could be a jaw-dropping quick demo of a specific key feature, perhaps a very short, impactful customer story, or maybe even a surprisingly strong statistic. This ruthless kind of focus makes the entire editing phase significantly simpler, and it keeps your audience locked in from the first second to the last. If you haven't even hit record yet, your first step is setting yourself up for success by making the editing process as painless as possible down the line. Always prioritize clear, crisp audio quality above all else. Keep your desktop screen completely tidy and run through your demo once just to warm up your delivery. When considering your recording software, know that you truly have great options available across the entire spectrum of price points. OBS is completely free and incredibly powerful, but be warned that the output is raw footage, meaning you will have to do all the heavy lifting and cleanup later. Apps like Screen Studio, often a one-time purchase, like offer a fantastic user experience and some basic editing features built right in, but they still require a lot of manual work. Then there's specialized software like Howdy Go, which is absolutely awesome when you need to capture complex HTML, CSS interactions and adjust copy post recording. However, the major caveat is that those highly interactive demo tools really only shine when you are embedding a walkthrough on a website, not for ripping viral social clips from a podcast. This is the exact scenario where a specialized tool like Vizard steps in designed specifically to take those long, winding videos and automatically surface the best potential clips for social media. Its core auto-editing feature is built to intelligently pick out those parts that are already showing viral potential from your raw, long footage, producing ready-to-post short clips instantly. This functionality addresses a completely different need than capturing an interactive product tour, which is a crucial distinction to keep in mind for your strategy. So if your main objective is transforming an entire recorded podcast episode into 10 different bite-sized TikToks, Vizard will typically save you exponentially more time than manual piecing in Premiere. You also avoid the painful process of endlessly hunting for those perfect moments inside a massive file, which is often the biggest time sink of all. A common pitfall many creators fall into is obsessing over recording the perfect first take with narration done in real time, which I strongly advise against. My professional advice is always to record much more footage than you think you will ever need, but consciously refrain from narrating every single small step as it happens. Record your screen, record your presentation slides, but do not worry about nailing the voiceover delivery in that initial session. I promise it's easier later. <laughs> it is almost always cleaner and far more efficient to record a separate, tidy voiceover track once you know exactly which clips you're using. Doing this grants you cleaner audio, better overall pacing, and allows you to chop or rearrange the visual elements without causing awkward audio glitches or dead air. Vizard integrates beautifully with this preferred workflow because you can import that raw long form file, let the AI perform a smart first pass at clip selection, and then easily swap audio as needed. Once your footage is fed into the Vizard environment, you will immediately notice the editing experience feels radically different from traditional timeline-based software. Instead of the tedious manual work of trimming waveforms and juggling an overwhelming number of video tracks, Vizard suggests multiple short clips that are statistically likely to perform well. These suggestions often highlight excellent hooks, 
genuine emotional peaks, highly quotable lines, or clear demonstrative actions that viewers love to see. While you can certainly tweak the AI selection and rearrange the clips into a new sequence, be extremely cautious about overloading your final output with too many flashy, distracting edits. Viewers primarily seek context and clarity, so a quick, deliberate zoom, a clean text caption, and a clear opening hook will almost always outperform frantic, dizzying transitions that confuse the message. If you've spent time with tools like Descript, you already understand the immense power of transcript-based editing for finding specific verbal cues quickly. <laughs> Descript is undeniably amazing when you're working within a text-based modification workflow, but it still puts the final selection burden squarely on your shoulders. Vizard complements that approach perfectly by surfacing potential clips based on real-world performance signals and current social trends, meaning you no longer have to guess which 30 seconds will actually get shared widely. Now, compare that against mobile-first editors like CapCut or similar apps. They are fantastic for polishing a single, isolated clip directly on your phone, but they are not built for systematic repurposing of hours of content. Let's jump into a few essential practical editing tips that can instantly boost your clip quality, starting with removing unnecessary clutter. You must ruthlessly remove any unnecessary steps from your final clips. For example, absolutely no one watching a short needs to see you tediously logging into an account or fumbling through preference settings. Always strive for extreme conciseness in your narration. If you are explaining a feature, focus your language on the ultimate benefit, not merely describing the action taking place. For example, instead of saying, now I click this button right here, you should clearly state, clicking this one specific button saves your entire team about 20 minutes every single week. Also, never forget to implement strong, accurate captions because a massive percentage of the potential audience will consume your content with the sound completely turned off. Fortunately, Vizard can auto-generate these captions for you, saving you hours, but you absolutely must skim every single one for those unavoidable, tiny AI inaccuracies. Now we arrive at distribution, which is often the stage where even the best content strategies completely fall apart because of a lack of consistency. Creating the perfect clips is only half the battle. Consistent, scheduled delivery across all your chosen platforms is the only thing that actually grows your dedicated audience over time. The auto-schedule feature baked into the platform takes that entire scheduling headache completely off your plate by letting you set frequency and preferred posting windows. This scheduling automation is massively useful if you are juggling many different social channels, or if you simply want to maintain a steady, reliable drip feed of content without constant manual monitoring. Furthermore, the integrated content calendar is an incredibly underrated powerhouse because it eliminates the need for separate spreadsheets and various planning documents. Having everything centralized means you can instantly see what's already gone out, what is queued up next, and what topics still need coverage, which is vital for strategy. If you are stuck exporting raw MP4 files and manually uploading everywhere, you are forfeiting this crucial, holistic oversight of your entire output. A very common strategic question I get asked is whether you should gate your short clips or full demos behind an email signup form, and my answer is almost always a firm no. We consistently observe significant viewer drop-offs the moment content becomes gated because modern consumers simply expect immediate, friction-free access to browse. If your primary business goal is maximizing broad visibility and reach across social platforms, keeping that content completely open is the way to go. However, if your business model is strictly lead generation first and reach second, then perhaps getting a much deeper, more comprehensive demo makes strategic sense. A fantastic compromise involves using a clear call to action at the very end of an open clip, such as, if you want the full comprehensive workshop, click the link right here to access it. Make sure you are actively tracking those resulting clicks using UTM parameters so you can accurately determine which specific clips are actually driving valuable, measurable leads for your business. Finally, never ever ignore the power of robust analytics because the data you gather should directly guide every single edit you decide to make moving forward. Whether you are trying to figure out which opening truly hooked viewers or whether a specific CTA successfully converted someone, hard data is your best friend. The integrated analytics within a platform like Vizard show you engagement statistics broken down on a per clip basis, revealing exactly where viewers decide to abandon watching. If you notice a recurring pattern where a specific type of transition or a particular phrase causes retention to suddenly plummet, you must immediately fix that specific element in your next batch of edits. This critical iterative process of refining based on hard evidence is what fundamentally separates the creators who have one hit wonders from those who build sustainable, loyal audiences. Remember that you should never treat your newly created clips as a completely finished product that is set in stone forever. Smart creators continually revisit and refresh their highest performing evergreen clips with updated calls to action, fresh captions, or even slightly re-recorded voiceover to keep them maximally relevant. While having a clip with slightly outdated user interface elements is certainly better than having no clip at all, constantly refreshing key evergreen moments ensures you keep reaping value from them for years.
Now for a few final highly practical speed boosting tips to make sure you execute this perfectly every single time. You must keep your repurposed clips incredibly short and punchy. Typically, an ideal range for most primary social feeds sits between 15 and 45 seconds total. You absolutely need to ensure you have a gripping, compelling hook that captures the viewer's interest within the very first two seconds of playback. Reiterate the importance of using clear captions because you are fighting against the default mute settings on most platforms where people are scrolling quickly. And finally, practice intelligent reuse. Understand that a single phenomenal key moment from your long video can be expertly spun out into multiple distinct clips using different angles or opening hooks. If you found this comprehensive walkthrough truly helpful and you want me to immediately film the exact step-by-step -step wizard workflow showing import, AI selection, caption tweaking, and scheduling a full week in 10 minutes, then please let me know. You can tell me by dropping a genuine like on this video or by leaving a specific request right there in the comments section below so I know what to film next. All right, team, you now have a solid actionable plan. Clearly define your one to three core messages, capture your source material impeccably well, lean on automation to surface the very best clips, keep your edits focused on user benefits, maintain relentless scheduling consistency, and iterate constantly using data. If you diligently follow these steps, I guarantee you will stop wasting endless hours buried inside your editing software and finally start building an engaged audience that actually remembers your name. Thank you so much for watching this entire guide, and I sincerely look forward to catching you all in the next helpful video very soon.